Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have the 2019 Lexus LX570 S for you guys. Why am I reviewing this again? Because in my previous video of the LC300, a lot of people were asking for the old generation of the Land Cruiser, but I wanted to get something more special than the Land Cruiser, so I have its brother, the LX570 S. So now let's start the full in-depth review. So because we're reviewing the Lexus LX, I have to say the history of the Lexus LX. So this car was first produced from 19 and it has four generations. This is the third generation facelift and then is the fourth generation completely new generation version. But the fourth generation isn't here in Bangladesh, but it's going to come soon and I'm going to do an in-depth review of that soon. But we have the third generation facelift, so let's do a full in-depth review of this first. So first I'm going to show you the front face of the car. But before that, let's show you the key. So, this is the key of the Lexus LX because it's the non-hybrid. There's no hybrid variant. You, you have black accent here instead of blue. You have this nice design at the side and you have your lock, unlock, boot opening and your alarm button. Now I'm gonna get inside and turn on these LED projector setup Eagle lights. Turn the brake, press the start button. The car is on. This is with the daytime running lights lights are on and this is with the hazard this is the headlight this is the high beam high beam off so what is Lexus so a lot of people keep asking me what is Lexus Lexus is the sub brand of Toyota the more premium brand of Toyota so this is similar as the Land Cruiser it has the same chassis but this is more more luxury and more fancier than the Land Cruiser you have your LED headlights here Daytime running lights are your L, you have your swiping hazards down here, and then you have your eagle lights. You have three for your lights and three for your high beams inside there. Lights are fantastic. You have your headlight washers down here, and if we come down, this is the fog lamp with this boomerang style design, and this is for the side turning light. Now, if we come to the front grille of the car, a lot of people complain about BMW grills, Look how big this Lexus grill is. It's really big and it suits this car. So because this is the LX570S and a 2019 model, this is the almost the newest model that is in Bangladesh. So that's why it has this nice sporty grill that suits the car with this white color with this black grill. You have the Lexus logo at the front. You have the front parking camera because it has a full 360 degree camera and has six sensors at the front. This is your front number plate slot and you have chrome treatments and this aggressive front end. Now let's check out what is powering the Lexus LX. So now let's show you the engine. So for the engine, I have to open the hood of the car. So the hood opening button is here, very simple. So the new generation of the Lexus LX and the Toyota Land Cruiser gets the 3.3 liter diesel or the 3.5 liter petrol. But previously, the Land Cruiser used to get a 4.6 liter naturally aspirated V8 in Bangladesh. And in uh, the international market, it used to get the 5.7 liter. And the LX also gets the same engine, the 5.7 liter. But now it has a more smaller six cylinder engine with two turbos. But I prefer the V8 over the V6. So this car has a 5.7 liter naturally aspirated V8 that is reliable as heck. People have tell everyone this engine is good for the next 20 years. That's why people buy this Lexus LX and the Land Cruiser over the Nissan Petrol and the Infiniti QX80 because this car is reliable. Toyota means reliable and Lexus is the same brand. It uses the same thing. So it's reliable. Like love that feature for Toyota and Lexus cars. So this is the 5.7 liter naturally aspirated V8 engine. You can see you have your eight cylinders, four on either side, four on the other side. You have your Lexus badge, V8 written here. This is for the intercooler, so all the air goes to the engine. It has no turbos, so this is for pouring in the engine oil. And because it's the Lexus car, it is fully covered in premiumness. You have insulation up there, and now let's talk about power outputs. So it has 383 horsepower and 406 pound-feet of torque. It has more power than the diesel version of the new generation but less power than the new petrol LX. But it's okay. It still has that V8 engine and that V8 rumble. Now let's close the hood. So get it closer and there we go. And the grill is fully 
surrounded with this satin chrome. And because it's raining a little bit, the car looks more nicer in this white color. You can see the hood has very aggressive lines, so the car looks more fatter and more wider like a tiger. Amazing design from Toyota. Now let's talk about the safety systems. So it has an adaptive brake assist, so the front sensors are gonna be used. So if another car suddenly comes in front of you, it's gonna automatically brake. It, can, it has cruise control, it has auto stopping brake, and it has your lane keep assist. On the windshield wipers are rain sensing. If you guys see in my previous like uh, 30 seconds, the windshield wiper were working, but the car is off, that's what's not working now. But yeah, a lot of technology on these cars. Now let's check out the side profile. So the Lexus LXS is a big size as you film from Lexus and it is the biggest and most expensive Lexus vehicle you can buy right now. And if you guys see some similarity with the Land Cruiser, I'm telling it again, it is very much closer. So now let's come to the wheel. So because this is the 570S, it gets these blackout wheels that look Gucci on this car. It looks amazing. So let's check out the wheel size. So these are 275 50R21s, 21 inch wheel. You have six piston brakes at the front with ventilated calipers and the thickness of the disc are 13.9 inches. It has stud suspension with air springs at the front. The mirrors are automatically folded and automatically unfolded. And it has a hazard light here, chrome treatment here, and it is blacked out because of the 570S. And it has a camera for the surround view camera of this car. There you go. Now if we come up here, because this is the 570S, what is the 570S? Because this is the Australian spec and the Australian car, the 570S means sports. So that's why it has chrome treatments down here on the window tr trims and it has black treatments up here. And privacy glass at the rear and privacy glass up here. You have keyless entry on the four of the doors and because it's the Lexus LS, everything's like build quality is good. You have two Vortex generators here for aerodynamics. And yeah, grills up here that are in Saturn Chrome. And now let's come to the controversy part, the side running board. Why doesn't Lexus or Toyota give deployable side steps? Deployable side step aren't reliable because if you see on Range Rovers, they can break anytime. First of all, they can't uh, work properly sometimes because of the mechanism system, but these are fixed. If anything happens, it's just gonna break, you could fix it up. There's no, you know, automatic stuff using here. That's why Toyota claims to keep these over the deployable side step. Reliability first. Now let's come to the rear wheel. So the rear wheels are the same as the front because this car is the all wheel drive car but the brake calipers are four piston and the rear brake disc thickness is 13.6 inches. Multi-link suspension with air springs. Now let's come to the fuel tank. So for opening that, there's a button inside. If I just press this, I mean, sorry, pull. There it opens and you can fill up your 96 liter fuel tank. And because it's a V8, it doesn't give that enough for fuel economy, but when you drive this car, you forget about everything because of the pure V8-ness. Now let's check out the rear of the car. So now I'm going to get inside, turn on these fantastic looking rear lights. And to be honest, I'm, I really like the Lexus LX, so this could be a biased review, but it's not. Put on the brake, pressing the start button. There, the car turns on. So, rear full light, rear fog, hazard, and this is with the reverse. Now I'm going to come back, showing you the lights, so. So first of all, two vortex generator here for more aerodynamics, there. And then the lights are fully LED, you have swiping hazards and chrome treatment up here. Fantastic looking. You have LX570 and S badge because of the sports. And then you have this chrome treatment here, chrome treatment here, and these are your reversing lights. A lot of people complained and I complained personally, the 2016 to the 2017 Lexus LX, you should get halogen lights here like halogen lights on the Lexus LX. But now on the 2019 brand new units like this, it has the LED lights here too. Number plate slot with two lights and a reversing camera here. You have Lexus badge here. And what are these lights on the either side? These are your rear fog lights and you have parking sensors at the back too. And if you open this, there's a rear towing hook so you could tow something on this car. And the car's spare tire is actually down here. There you can see. 
and a functional exhaust, no fakery from Toyota. Now let's check out is this car practical, but you have upper stop brake light down here and a spoiler with a rear windshield wiper. Now let's check out is the Lexus LX practical. So now let's check out the practicality of the car. So for opening the boot, there's a button here and it's going to powerly open. And this generation of the car, the Land Cruiser and the LX used to get a split tailgate, but the new one is just a single bench. So no more picnic tables here. But for this, you just press this and there it opens. So you could just have a little picnic and enjoy your weather and everything. But on the new generation, you have to sit here. So you have some tools for the car. So I'm going to unlock these. There you could see the tools for opening the wheel. And they are here too. So these are, there you could see Lexus. So now let's come to the boot space. So because this is a seven seater for unfolding the seats, this is what you have to do. There are two buttons here. One is for lifting, one is for getting it down. So if you just press this, the seats are going to come down and then I have to manually pull it. There, put this back, get the headrest up, get this up, put this back, get the headrest up. And over here you have 390 liters of storage with the seven seater up. And if you want more storage, you can fold down the seats like this. So there are buttons here. So first of all, if I just press this, seats folded there and then you can lift up the seats powerly no effort and a lot of people can say why doesn't the seat fall flat because under this there is a lot of off-roading uh, treatments of the car that's why it doesn't have enough space but yeah it's good you have a 100 volt socket here for carrying a refrigerator or something and that's it now let's check out the rear seats of the car So, rear seats, the seats are red colored, looks nice, and it's very comfortable. You have isofix anchor points too, uh, here. And seats are heated and ventilated and controlled from this center piece. So the heating and ventilation controls are here, so this is for heating, this is for ventilating, and this is for controlling the rear climate control. So it has a four zone climate control, so this is for the rear where you want the air off, auto, and my ventilation seats. A little storage area here with a remote to control both the infotainments. So the infotainments are covered in this luxury leather. And if you just get this out of the way, you can see. You can see your rear infotainment systems. And these are fully controlled with that remote. You could see right or left. You control it like that. But Everything's very comfortable here. You have AC vents on the top and grab handles that are leather strapped. Two lights here. And you have blinds too. Ultimate privacy. And the seats are fully powered on this car. So if you guys see the button here, you can get it front and you can get it back. Fully powerly controlled. You have your twitters here, then your door handle then this leather treatment all the way and wooden treatment window opener here bottle holder and this car has a mark levinson sound system so you can see mark levinson and you have your side light and the deployable side step nope fixed side step now let's get into the front so first of all you have your srs airbag here then you have your ac vent that's nice you have your wooden treatment all the way coming here good quality wood and this metallic treatment here. Leather with stitching, your lockable glove box with decent amount of room and the owner's manual of the car. That's here. Good, now let's come to the seats. So seats are eight but adjustable, heated and ventilated and a lot of comfortness on the seats. Now let's come to the seats. So the Land Cruiser gets the normal seats but the Lexus gets more luxury seats. These are called more comfortable seats. And the sunroof visor is manually open. It has a sunroof, no panoramic sunroof on this model. And then you can open it like that, fully powered. And for closing, there. Then you have one light here and two lights on the sides. And these are fully 
touch sensitive sunglass holder here vanity mirrors with the light and there are actually two vanity mirrors and you could extend this too expensive and same on this side two vanity mirrors now let's come to the center place if you open this you have your refrigerator and if you just press this it's going to turn on there you could put your drinks there now let's come to the buttons here so this is for the air suspension this is for turning it off cancel this is for high four or low four this is for the driving modes of the car this is for the crawl mode so this is a cruise control if you're going downhill you have your heating and ventilating for your passenger heating and ventilated for me and heating steering wheel for me this is for getting more turning radius this is for off-road mode this is for traction control off differential locker and second gear start so you can get that traction this is your infotainment system controller very premium because it has leather i really like this system but a lot of people don't you have two cup holders at the front and your parking brake is here and your gear knob is at the center so this is for reverse you can see the reversing camera with adaptive guidelines and the 360 this is for drive and then manually shifting from here or the pedals and it has the eight speed automatic transmission on this car so if you press this you have a wireless charger here a 12 volt socket here and aux and another socket here two more socks a lot of sockets on this car and now we close this gloss black treatment you have your mark levinson uh, badge and if you open this you can have your gps uh, sim and climate controls are up here so this is for the passenger and this is for the driver this is for the wind speed this is for auto so nanotechnology but it's more fancier written where you want the air outside air or inside air i'm going to turn that off you have your front windshield here heater rear windshield heater off auto and these are your shortcut buttons for the media this is the hazard this is the cd and this is for the volume this is for skipping track you have your lexus watch that is fancy you have your two ac vents on either side you have your rear view mirror that is auto dimmed and that's it now let's show you the infotainment so put on the brake the start button is here and then you can see lexus written here and lx written here so this is a 12.3 inch infotainment display that is controlled by this so it takes some time to come up but you can control it from here but the new generation of the lx gets the new touchscreen system so you could go to navigation and then you have your all your map displays you can go to media you can go to phone so telephone you can go to your climate this is actually for consumption my bad so you can see all your consumption displays and then this is for your climate system and if you come to the main screen you could just press menu and then you have all your menus here it's not the best but it is nice now let's show you the cameras of the car so if i just press this button you have your front camera with the 360 this is for both of the sides second and there's a button here so if you just press this it's going to automatically come when you need it or when you don't and there's buttons here for your parking sensors off or on and your cameras now let's come to the steering wheel steering wheel is wood here leather here wood here very comfortable to hold you have your volume buttons skipping track mode voice command receive call or cut call and over here the buttons for that center screen this is for cancel this is also for that these are for your safety systems this is for the cruise control of the car this is for the headlight controls and hazards and high beam this is for the windshield wiper controls and steering wheel is fully powerly adjustable tilt and telescope there very easy now let's show you the instrument cluster so put on the brake pressing the start button and there it turns on it says lx right there so this is for your battery voltage this is for the fuel tank this is the speedo top speed is 260 km per hour and then here is your engine temperature and engine oil temperature rpm red lines at five and a half thousand or six thousand rpm this is for the mileage and it almost has four thousand mileage 4000 kilometer and this is the digital screen so if you go to all the controls first of all you have all your safety systems everything's off now the warnings so this car has no warnings this is for the settings so the lane departure assist blind spot monitoring you can off it or turn it on i've turned it on right now and then all, your heads up display oil management and meter system 
Then you have your audio, you have your navigation, and your vehicle display. So you can see your mileage, temperature, monitor. So the spare tire is also monitored. So you can see all the five wheels are monitored for tire pressures. If you go up, this is for the wheels. So where is it turned? So it needs an off-road situations. So I'm going to keep it on the wheels. And then this is for all your fuel economy stuff. Outside temperature and your sway warning. So if you are sleepy, it's going to automatically detect. Now let's show you the heads up display. So on the heads up display, you have the navigation and the kilometer. And if I put it on gear, you can see nothing else. That's pretty much it. Now let's show you the door. So first of all, you have your Twitter here. Then if you come down, this is your AC vent. This is for turning it off and on. Wooden treatment, metallic finish. These are for your auto headlights, headlight washer, heads up display. This is for your safety systems of the car. You have a little storage area here. This is for hood opening and fuel tank opening. You have your dead pedal, brake pedal, and gas pedal here. And if you come up, this is for the door handle. You have memory seats here, leather, you have wood, and you have leather down here again. This is your grab handle. You have your window controls here, lock, unlock, and your outside mirror controls. You have your speaker, so Mark Levinson, and you have all your bottle holders. Now, I'm gonna go drive this car, but before that, you have all your seat king controls here. Now, I'm gonna go drive it. So now let's drive this car, foot on the brake, pressing the start button. Always wear your seatbelt when you're driving, so there. Let's get up the seat to my adjustments and let's go. So the turning radius of this car is going to be written. And the LX570, it has the V8, it is amazing. And because it's a SUV, it's very fun to drive. So the 0 to 60 of this car is going to be written and all of the information like the turning radius is also going to be written. The suspension is good, it's very comfortable and because it has air suspension, it is very comfortable. But if you want, you can change the driving modes to sports or sport plus, then it's going to be more fun to drive as you want. The steering is very sharp and I'm just going to get inside here. As you can see, I can actually off-road this car right now, but it's raining. It's such a good weather. It's actually really comfortable to drive this car. there we are back so until then stay safe stay home don't forget to subscribe hit the like if you like this video and see you next time peace